So my name is Anne Motte, I'm a Livestock Development Officer and I work with the UNFAO, the Food and uh, Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. I'm based in Rome and in the course I contribute to the lectures. Uh, I, for example, I gave a training on a tool that is called Gleamai to calculate greenhouse gas emissions from livestock. Uh, and also FAO sponsors the participation uh, of uh, some students and some professionals to attend the course. Well, science can do a lot, uh, but it different, it's different from uh, a country to another or production system to another. Uh, if you look at extensive livestock systems like you find in the Sahel, for example, or in Central Asia with pastoralism, um, then the environmental impact can be limited uh, if we avoid land degradation, overgrazing, for example, and if we help production to improve in terms of avoiding uh, waste and loss, for example, improving animal health, uh, we don't need as many animals to produce the same amount of meat and milk. That's a way to reduce uh, the environmental impact. In other systems, uh, for example, in Europe or in Northern America, uh, we can avoid feed food competition. We can, uh, for example, choose to feed the animals with some materials that humans cannot eat. So avoid giving grains, for example, and give preference to uh, byproducts or residues from the agri-food industry. If we start uh, talking about, for example, some new technologies, um, farmers don't always have access to new technologies. So it can be about new feed that have a lower environmental impact. It can be about uh, methods to limit uh, methane emissions. Um, in that case, what is missing is uh, to uh, finalize the studies to show that those techniques, those technologies can be uh, safe uh, for the animals and for humans to consume their products. Uh, but it's also about the cost of those, of those technologies. Um, so maybe we need also some form of incentives for them, uh, either from uh, the government, from public policies uh, to help them cover the cost, or from the market uh, to develop some form of higher quality products with regard to the environment that would uh, give uh, higher income to the farmers to cover these costs. Uh, but when it comes to uh, science that is not linked to new technologies, that is more about what we mentioned before, improving animal health, improving animal genetic resources, improving animal feed, um, it has to do with extension. Uh, make sure that the knowledge gets to the farmers um, and that they have access also to uh, not only the knowledge but the information, how to implement that and eventually that they still have access to the market uh, for the products to be uh, valued uh, and maybe valued even higher than if they were uh, produced without care for the environment. My takeaways, um, it's the third time that we organize this course uh, on, on a topic similar to this one at least. Um, and what I see is that there's a growing interest. We have uh, more and more applications for participants every year and from uh, more and more countries and my other takeaway is that I have the feeling the level, the scientific level and technical level of the participants is increasing. There's more interest in the topic and they're becoming uh, very good at uh, this topic of mitigating the environmental impact of livestock production.